Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Before I begin, like the video, put on your notes to know when my up next video uploads. And if you like the video, come down in the comment section. Also, I'm going to need y'all to subscribe too, okay? Don't forget to subscribe, y'all. Hey everybody, welcome to my review of Love and Marriage Huntsville Reunion Part 2, although they got a list of this Part 3 on my TV. Like, who is working at own? Get y'all interns together. <laughs> Let me read the copyright disclaimer because y'all know I'm going to throw some clips up in here. Copyright disclaimer under Section 107 of the Copyright Act of 1976. Allowance is made for fair use for purposes such as criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarships, education, and research. So we open up with the question that Carlos asked Kiki, has Letitia ever speculated that Marceau is cheating on her? And Kiki says yes. Carlos asks Kiki, was this before the show? Kiki says yes. Then he turns to Tisha to say, is Kiki lying? And Tisha says yes. So Tisha says that she never went to Kiki and said Marcel was cheating on her. Kiki says, I'm lying. And gives her this side eye side look. So Tisha changed the story and was like, was my girl. That's why Mel called her because she knows a lot about me. Mel ain't got nothing to do with this right now. It's about you and Kiki, as you said. Keep it on Kiki. Keep it on Kiki. Tisha says, what happened was, I found a girl, a picture of a girl in Marceau's phone. Girl, you just told a whole lot. And so Kiki wasn't lying then. You're the liar. So then we find out that not only did she find a picture of a girl in Marceau's phone, but it was a naked picture a booty shot of a woman and Martel, I mean Martel, Marceau, they one in the same, like the picture. So Tisha says that she screenshotted the picture and sent it to Kiki. She was like, what the F? So she said she and Kiki did some research and it was nothing else after that picture. Here go Marceau smirking again. You got your wife fighting the air for you and you smirking. Tisha, I hope you, Tisha, I hope you look back on this and take a look at the faces. Take an analytical look at what's going on in this daggone scene here. Okay? You ain't got to leave your husband, but just open your eyes, girlfriend. Is it eyes wide shut for you? Like, you know what's going on. You just don't want it to be exposed. That's just, that's just my thoughts and in my opinion, girl. <laughs> here we go. Look at Martel's face. So Carlos King asks Marceau, how did the picture get into his phone? He proceeds to look down and try to come up with a lie and say that, well, that's my opinion, that he interviewed this young lady and the picture got in his phone out of nowhere. Here go Martel. It's Martel faces and movements for me. He's hilarious, this, this damn reunion. So Marceau says that, you know, again, that the lady sends a picture out of the blue. So Kiki chimes in and says, out of the blue. And if y'all see the look he gave Kiki, because I'm going to put it right here. Y'all know I got to put a little clip to show y'all. So Carlos continues, to, uh, he's asking for clarification what actually happened. So we find out that the picture was actually a picture of a woman with her butt, which was naked. And Marceau liked the picture. And... Kiki says, and you reply to it, and Marceau says, no, I didn't reply. He was so confident he didn't reply, because I know he remembered, and Tisha too. And she said, you said, oh, a midday work surprise. And then Tisha looked and was like, yeah, you said that, you said that. He said, oh, yeah, I did say that, I did say that. Oh, they about to come for Kiki if she coming back next season. They about to come for her. So Marceau says, you know what, it was a work surprise. He's so disrespectful. Tisha didn't even look at him or nothing to say, like, what the fuck is you talking about? Nothing? <laughs> but Kimmy sure gave the look like, for real, Marceau? So Carlos King asks him, why did this woman feel comfortable sending you this picture? He says, you know what? Never answering the question, but going to talk about, well, women these days send it to, to me and my DMs at all the time. So, But you never answered the question. Why did this woman feel comfortable sending you this picture? The same woman that you quote unquote interviewed, come on, Marcel. So Carlos asked Tisha, you you know your husband sent, got this explicit picture of this woman and you don't feel no way about the rumors that's going around? It don't make you think that some of these rumors could be true? Tisha's like, no, nothing ever happened. I did my research. Child. 
And of course, she going to try to say these things they throwing at us is actually happening to them. Like, Tisha, stop deflecting, boo-boo. Please stop deflecting. Talk about you. And the crazy thing is that nobody even threw anything at you. You put this out there, your dog on sale. So, what are you talking about? Tisha claims she forgot about it until Kiki brought it up on the show. Kiki never brought it up on the show. But anyway, um... So Tisha said it was 14 years ago. Kiki was like, girl, it was not 14 years ago. Marceau looks at her again. Marceau looks at Kiki again with one of those looks like, a B, you better shut the hell up. But because he on national TV at this reunion, he can't say it. But the look said it all. You know Tisha ain't happy about this, okay? You know she's going to curse Kiki out <laughs> soon as this reunion is over, okay? So they turned to Miss Wanda and asked Miss Wanda, did she know about this? Miss Wanda was like, no, Tisha don't tell me everything. But she looks at Marceau different. And again, Marceau being disrespectful, say over an ass shot. And she, uh, Miss Wanda was like, when you lushing, instead of saying lusting, over someone, that's considered cheating. And then here go meathead Maurice talking about, well, I'm guilty. And then you see Kimmy turn around, but... It don't, I don't know if that was a edited shot, though, because Kimmy is pretty, you know, about it, about it, when she's ready to say something. These men are disrespectful. Now, if your wives are looking at explicit pictures, would y'all like that shit? Nope. So, we move on to Carlos King asking Tisha about her knowing if Kiki was coming on the show. So, Tisha said she knew Kiki was coming on the show, but she didn't know Kiki was coming on the show to talk about her. Girl, stop lying. You lying. Kiki was like, I didn't tell you everything. And to be honest, I have to say, I believe Kiki. I believe Kiki tells Tisha everything. You know, she seems like an honest person. But I think if you come on next season, you need to just be focused on you and your storyline. So Kiki challenges her to tell her one thing that she didn't tell her to name it. And of course, T uh, Tisha deflects. Tisha says the allegation that they put out on me. And then she goes to the allegation about, the, I mean, the picture on Marceau's phone. But they didn't bring that up. You brought that up. You brought that up on your own self. So what are you talking about, Tisha? So Kiki was like, I'm not going to let you or anybody up here on this stage make me out to be a liar. And here go Wanda jumping in talking about you are a liar. Like, then her and Kiki going back and forth, back and forth. And Miss Wanda going to say, I'm talking, you want to hear the rooster crow? What is wrong with this elderly woman? Like, what is she doing? Ugh, it's so sad. It's sad and pathetic. So Carlos King go back to the Christmas party to find out what Kiki actually said at this Christmas party. So Kimmy was like, it was some things said and I just told her that she needs to talk to Tisha. So Kiki was like, who started that conversation? And Kimmy was like, you. So she was like, I hope y'all have the clip. So they showed um, Kiki talking about um, her and Tisha have, are having difficulties and she find it hard to get back in touch with them. But at the end of the day, I feel like this was, that Christmas scene was a produced scene. Um, I mean, come on. Should Kiki have said anything about Tisha? Maybe not, but she didn't say anything bad about her either. So, from what I seen, she didn't say nothing bad. And Kimmy ain't confirming nothing bad that she said. So, it was a produced scene. So, here go Marceau jumping in because he got to get his point across about how he brought across about telling her business to the Holtz. <sighs> here we go. So, Marceau wants to clarify if the business was told in a solemn manner or in a funny manner. So Carlos turns to Melody and asks, well, asks Kiki who told her it was funny. She says Melody. Melody says, yes, Martel said it in a joking manner. He turns to Martel and Martel was like, he don't remember, to be honest. So he said he wouldn't, Marcel said he wouldn't talk about something that happened to somebody so serious and wouldn't joke about it. I don't believe it. Uh, Melody was like, you joked about it the whole first season. Says the reason she said that so she could turn Kiki against us. Like, stop. Kiki gonna do what Kiki gonna do. It ain't gonna take M Melody to turn her against y'all, okay? As much as Tisha lie, that's what's gonna turn her against y'all. And in jumps Meathead Maurice to defend his brother about how he was there for Kiki. 
But we ain't talking about that right now. We talking about him telling Kiki business. So, Marcel was like, when did he have a joke and nobody laugh? Uh, a lot of people, because I don't find your jokes funny at all. The ones that you did tell on the TV show, they ain't funny at all. So, Carlos King asked Kiki, do she believe he laughed and joked about it? She going to say, the Marcel that I know wouldn't laugh and joke about it. Now, Kiki, I got to call you to the table. Because look at this. The business, but, but the truth is, just because it's your business doesn't mean it's your personal business. Now, Kiki, if he could say that to you when y'all was in Bessemer, you don't think he'll joke about your business? We've all heard Marcel tell his tasteless jokes. And they ain't funny. He done got on the internet after you told your story on national TV to Melody and say that ain't the story. Like, come on, Kiki. You looking suspect right now. So Kiki goes into her story about she was hurt and mad and bitter about them telling her business. And of course, Marcel shifts in his seat and talk about all right and twisting up his face. See, Kiki? See what I'm talking about? Anyway, Kiki, when you come on the next season, if you come on the next season... Let it be about you, your family, and what you're trying to do in your career. So we get to the meat and potato of this damn uh, reunion where Miss Wanda is talking about the children. So Melody goes on to um, speak about how Miss Wanda was talking about her children and how it all started. Do y'all see Bessemer's finest turning up? So Melody was accurate in how things played out. Like I had to go back and watch it because so much happened. But Melody was accurate. And Miss Wanda was, is going to say that's not how it happened. And created her own story of how things went. So now I see where Tisha get it from. How you go straight to the lie to make it work out in your favor and like melody said their conversation could have went totally different had miss wanda not got besma on her so melody gives her version of what she thought miss wanda meant when miss wanda was on her live miss wanda denies that she did that on her live Woo child it's the lies for me like we ain't see this on national tv what you was doing and your lives for that matter which I don't watch, by the way, but thanks to my fellow YouTubers who gives us the cliff notes of what she say. <laughs> so Carlos asked Miss Wanda, why would she reduce it to talking about a child versus speaking to the adults? She going to talk about she saw Heavenly Live and she just went off of what Martell said, which is some bullshit. Then she tried to explain it away by saying because she asked Marceau about him being a baby daddy. Is that talking about a child or is that talking about a baby daddy? Like. Melody said it best, the mental capacity of these people. Oh, side note. Did you notice when Carlos King asked uh, Martel what he thought about, what he thought Miss Wanda was saying, he said it was about my youngest child. Uh, okay, I get it. Maybe he thinking the youngest child with Melody, but uh, that is not your youngest child, Martel. So okay. Carlos King asked Martel if he feels like he if he questioned the paternity of his child of course they leave with a cliffhanger but martell ends up saying no absolutely not so carlos king turns to kimmy and maurice and me head maurice gives this whole martin luther king speech <laughs> about how he understand both sides and if you're talking about baby daddies you're talking about baby daddies but when you're talking about a child you should leave it right there something to that effect and then gonna blame martell for bringing um the situation to the world whether he brought it to the world or not, it was still not Miss Wanda place to say anything. What does that have to do with her and Tisha? Yeah. Oh, I know. They hate Mel. Period. Carlos King, look, then, as Tisha would say, turns to Tisha and asks her if she thinks her mother was wrong. She says yes, but she feels like her mother was going tit for tat with Mel. That's, it, that don't even make sense, Tisha, because your mother have no reason to go tit for tat with Mel. Okay. 
no reason. Letitia going to say she was calling Mel out for sleeping around. Mel was like, sleeping around where? Now, all of this is internet rumors. And Tisha is actually saying it like it's fact. But yet, she'll get mad when people are saying Marcel was cheating on her. Which are rumors. So, you can't understand it? That's why I talk about the hypocrisy. So, Tisha going to say, was it wrong for Mel to bring it to national TV? Now, here's where I'm going to say this. They feel like because they're on Instagram, it's not national news. I'm saying news for the lack of a better word. Okay. But anyway, people pick it up from her Instagram, her Facebook, wherever she do her lives. It goes to YouTube. Like, uh, uh, thousands of people are seeing this. So how can you say Mel shouldn't have brought it to national TV? Somebody talk about my child, we going to deal with it when I see you. Period. Point. Blank. So Tisha goes on to say nobody holds the Melody accountable for what she do. And Melody corrected her and says does. Because Letitia is a, a verb now adjective placement challenged. Okay. <laughs> but anyway, here go Marceau jumping in. Trying to defend Miss Wanda. I can't, I can't with these two. Like they give it. Like Martel said, what's wrong with just saying your mother was wrong? Period. Point blank. And stop turning it on anybody else. Your mother was dead wrong for talking about kids. Which you actually feel the fire. Because you could tell y'all had these conversations behind the scenes. Because y'all figuring out what y'all going to do to Mel to bring Mel down. That's just in my opinion though. So Marceau giving this whole speech. And I, I had to go back and look. So I pulled the clip. He actually agreed with Martel and said that it's about the kids. So now on the stage today it's a different story. Like these set of Scots is so hell bent on making the Hulks look bad that they be telling on themselves. They forget the lies that they tell. They forget what they say previously. Like it's just getting ridiculous. This is why next season I'm gonna need y'all to move on to y'all own storyline, y'all own businesses, y'all own kids. If please let it go. Please let the hopes live rent free. Stop letting them live rent free in your mind. Please. Then Marceau going to say Melody cleverly rephrased it so it looks like Wanda was angry at the kid. What is you talking about? What are you talking about? That is not true. We heard what Miss Wanda said. We knew what Miss Wanda went, meant. We have eyes to see and ears to hear. We saw what went on. Y'all act like we ain't seeing what's going on. And we could see between the lines. Like, come on. So Carlos calls them the task. He was like, the problem from him, for him is, y'all was passionate about Tiffany talking about y'all son. But when it comes to Miss Wanda talking about the Hulk's kid, y'all have no passion about it. Y'all making up excuses. And that is what they're doing, point blank, period, because they don't want the hopes to be right. right. So Kimmy um, kindly jumped in and was like, let me speak for Kimmy. And Kimmy said it best. She said she got into it with Tisha because she tells Tisha that her mother threw things that are out of pocket. She says that uh, Wanda is dead wrong. And she was like, she feels like they pussy popping and backpedaling. She ain't say it like that, but that's how I'm saying it. And she said it, it's, it has nothing to do with what Martell said to um, Dr. Heavily on that interview, it's all about the rumors that was going around on the internet. And why dumb, dumb, dodo Tisha agreeing with it. So that means that you knew what your mother was doing. There in the public and on social media, period. I think that was too. And on social media, period. I think that was too. And you basically was co-signing what your mother was doing. You was all right with what your mother was doing. You knew exactly what your mother was doing. So Carlos said he's a little surprised that it's not black and white. That it's about a child and that's it. And um, he goes on to um, talk about how Marceau came to him. When Marceau talked to his son about the 20 women. And how he didn't appreciate them filming his child without the parent being around. Understandable. And I understand why Carlos is bringing this up because if y'all feel that way, why can't y'all understand about Wanda talking about the host child? The mental capacity, as Mel said. So Carlos turns to Mel and said, what you think? She said, you're bringing up great points. 
and Martel jumps in and says, well, my point is, why didn't you say something when she, this is not the first time Miss Wanda was talking about my kids. Why didn't you say something? So Carlos was like, well, you never told me. You called me for everything else. And he says he's not a parent. I mean, you being a parent to me ain't really got nothing to do with it. It's just about human nature, common sense. So Carlos but, King okay. lets us know that they met as the comeback group to discuss this issue. And he appreciated them coming together to discuss this issue. And here go Tisha having to jump in because she didn't get her point across about how Mel went live and how was there going to be a calm conversation. It wasn't going to be a calm conversation because your mama went besma on her. That's the part you're not getting. Like, do you watch these shows back, Tisha? You so hell-bent on making Melody wrong that you ain't seeing what your mama did. So Mel was like, I am not about to have a conversation with a person that defended their mother over and over again about talking about my children. And Tisha had the nerve to say, I never defended my mother. What? Hold on. Did y'all hear the dodo dum dum Tisha say maybe her mother should have said paternity? Dodo, it's still the same thing. She's questioning the child's paternity. Indirectly, you're bringing a child into it. Like, what part of that don't you get? Dodo, dumb, dumb, Tisha. It go Wanda talking about, I didn't think I was talking about a child. But if I did, I apologize. Like, stop. Y'all, like Mel said, the mental capacity. The mental capacity. Mel did not accept her apology. She said y'all gave her the opportunity to apologize. Because before that point, she ain't think she did nothing wrong. She don't think she said nothing wrong. And that's point blank, period. But Carlos asked Melody, do she see a place where she can move forward with these people? Mel said, hell no, never ever. No, she ain't say it like that. But hell fucking no. She ain't say it like that either. But no, she said never. Okay. <laughs> so Mel goes in to say, like, she can't be in a place where people don't want to be truthful and accountable for the things that they do. And here go Martel, not Martel, Marcel jumping in, arguing with a woman again. So he asked um, Melody... When has she held herself accountable? And she was like, I am not talking to you. I'm talking to Carlos. So Mel is basically like, what am I holding myself accountable for? Because what I said is the truth. And dumb, dumb Martel going to say, not Martel, I keep saying Martel. Marceau going to say, I didn't say everything you said was a lie. I just said this one thing. Oh my God. They be telling on themselves left and right because they so busy trying to make Mel look wrong. So Mel says, y'all need to be concerned about what y'all got going on and leave me out y'all head rent free. She ain't say that, but I'm saying that. So Tisha jumps in, Marcel jumps in, talking about how Mel be talking about them all the time and how it's Tisha, Tisha, Tisha. And I'm going to need y'all to stop lying because from season one to season, whatever season this is, y'all been talking about Mel. Y'all need to stop. Marcel going to say, let's have a party so we can talk about Mel. Hold on. Mel and I, we're cordial. Um, and uh, they asked Mel how she doing with Martell's. Mel is going to show up to support Martell. <laughs> Have y'all talked to Mel? Oh, speaking of Martell, um, I invited Mel. What? I invited Mel. Invited Mel what? And that's just a few clips. If I started at season one, that would be about a three hour video of how much y'all talk about Mel. And if I was to do Mel and how she talk about y'all, that would be about a 30 second clip. So, I'm going to need y'all to stop and be truthful and be honest. And next season, work on y'all's storyline. If y'all ignore Mel, that will impress me, okay? Then Tisha brings out her best my finest. Check, 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 check in for Tisha. Like, girl, you is your mother's child, for real. So, Tisha goes on to say, because people calling you out on your lies and your drama you get upset. So when people call you out on your lies and your drama, why are you getting upset? Right there in this little episode, you could see how Tisha just really don't like Mel. She don't like her at all. And it's all in her face. It's all in her tone. And when she stopped talking, you could see it all in her body language. Okay. Then we got me head Maurice wanting to make a statement about he thought that, you know, with the things that's going on with Kimmy, People will see that life is short and they will let things go. 
so you feel that way now because the first episode of the reunion and probably up until the half of this reunion you was popping shit too i'm just saying all right so this video is getting a little long so i'm going to finish it up with this they bring out stormy they talk about Stormy and Destiny at the Galentine's event. And she just basically said, like, it was a moment in time. And she wished people didn't judge her on that. She said she works really hard. Blah, blah, blah. And her and Destiny are cool. She really likes Destiny. Blah, 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 blah. Carlos King brings up the fact that the fans are saying that De uh, Stormy is ghetto. Personally, in my opinion, I don't feel that she's ghetto. Um, she did have one moment. I, sh I think she's a successful business owner, but I think she needs to show that side of her on this show. So then Carlos turns to Destiny and was like talking about how the people want to know why she on this show when she ain't in love. It's a pillow sitting next to her and her dress was horrible, by the way. I don't know. It just didn't read right. It looked like a copy paste arts and craft project dress that she got on. So Carlos King asked Destiny if she's in love. She gives that coy look. Don't say nothing. And... Tisha, everybody was like, that's what they talking about. And she's talking about, I feel ganged up on, so I don't say nothing. Ain't nobody gang up on you. He asked you a simple question. The fuck? Destiny claims that she can't talk about her marriage, but she really would like to. That's some bullshit. I don't believe it. Um, she says that she has been vulnerable, and her friend Tisha jumps in and says, we had a vulnerable moment. Of course y'all did. Uh. Then it turns to Kimmy, and Kimmy basically saying, we can't get nothing out of her. Then we find out that the producers was even saying that she's hard to work with. Did y'all notice how Destiny reacted when Kimmy was talking, like rolling her eyes, turning her neck? But when Carlos King said it, it was a simple smile. Like, you fake and phony as hell, Destiny. So Carlos King says, last season, yeah, it was about your husband. But for the 30 episodes this season, it wasn't about your husband. And you ain't have no story to tell except teaming up with Tisha to talk about Mel. So Destiny claims that she had vulnerable moments, but they didn't film her. And Kimmy jumps in and says, in all fairness, we all went through it. Here go Marceau. Don't come for Kimmy. And Destiny's like, I'm not coming for her. And Kimmy was like, she can, but she ain't. And then it has a continuation. I know, guys, this video is a little long, but I just observed some things that just was not right, okay? These, um, Scott's, Tisha, and Marceau, they so hell-bent on making Melody look wrong that they telling on themselves. Um, Kimmy, to me, is the only one that keeps it real in the Scott family, okay? And I'm, I'm exhausted. This video has me exhausted. Okay. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Again, thanks to my new subscribers. I really, really appreciate you guys for subscribing and watching my videos. Until next time, peace. Mm -hmm.